Hello and welcome to another video on navigating Edgeforia. In this video, we're going to look at how to create and share a test in AWARE. To get to this page, remember you have to go through the staff portal, which is portal.mesquiteisd.org, then click the Edgeforia icon and it will take you here. From here, we'll go to AWARE. And on the left, we have three tabs and we'll click assessments. Okay, at the top you have my teacher tests and my team tests and we're going to make a team test so that it can be shared with your students. At the bottom, if you have not already made a team, you can create a new one. And you'll put in the team's name. You might want a better name than that. Finish. And then you can add more people in by pressing add staff and typing in their name or email address here and then press save but for right now I'm just gonna leave it as me okay now that that's done we will actually create the test so over here we're gonna do create a new blank test standard assessment and we'll type in the test information. So title, subject, grade level. If you want to, you can set these values um, to reflect what you and your subject uh, would consider meets, advanced, masters, or satisfactory, or you can leave them blank. And then we'll add the course. Generate test. All right, from here we can add in our questions. Press the plus sign. If you choose add item, you are writing in your own question and your own responses. And you can add as many responses as you need to and choose the one that is correct. You can also choose constructed response to have the students write out their own response, numerical response for math, or you can add in a resource. Um, the resource will be something that you copy and paste or type in like a reading passage or a picture um, or a graph or table uh, for your students to use to help them with a question. The other way you can add questions is to go through the item bank. And since I put in the grade level and subject, I can search through these teaks for this grade level and pick the ones I want. You can sort through different questions or pick the question type, complexity and depth of knowledge language. You can open them up to see how they look. And then you'll press the plus sign. And we'll just pick a couple for this test. When you have the questions you want, you click add to test, and here they are. You can add more questions, you can drag them around to reorder them, uh, copy them, edit them if you need to change something in the way the question's worded, or delete them. This button is to link a resource, so if I did put a reading passage in, I would link it to a question so that when the students see it, it is paired with that question or with more than one question. When you're done, you can take a look at the layout. This is how it looks if it were to be printed out. You can double check your test key. On this button, you can see how it looks um, for online testing. And this is how it would look for the students. And you see the options that they have and you can click on all of them. And when you're done, we'll go to administration. The first thing is to make this an active test and then to share it with your team. Do the one I chose. You can leave it as diagnostic or you can choose whichever of these options makes sense for you. Convert to team test. Oops, change that to active. Okay. From here, we're going to go back to the very left, to the top that says Analyze. 
and it says a test is available. We'll click it and it shows your teacher tests or it shows your team tests. We'll find the one, here it is, fake test, shows you how many students in the group and then you can do online test proctoring. We'll click that and then open it up. It shows every grade, uh, I'm sorry, class period, and it has all of the students in it. It also will show their supports. When you are ready for them, you'll press start all, and then you'll press copy student login. And you can put that in Google Classroom. And when the students click on it, it will open up this portal for them. They'll put their username and password in and it'll take them to the test. If you have any questions concerning how to make a test in Educoria, um, I would encourage you to talk to your instructional specialist or to your instructional tech coach. Thank you.